Trickle-down economics has failed the country for decades. It means slashing public investment on things that helped America lead the world in innovation. You know, we used to invest 2 percent of our entire gross domestic product in research and development. You know what it is now? 0.7 percent. We used to be ranked number one in the world in research and development. You know where we're ranked now? Number nine. China's number eight a decade ago, and now China's number two. And other countries are closing in fast. This is the United States of America, for God's sake. We used to have the fastest infrastructure, the best infrastructure in the world, rated number one. Now we're rated number 13 in the world in infrastructure. How can you have the best economy in the world and not have the best infrastructure in the world? Under my predecessor, Infrastructure Week became a punchline. Every, every, every month. Anyway, it just — I won't get into it. <laughs> On my watch, we're making infrastructure a decade headline. A decade. Yesterday, we announced that since I took office, we've attracted a half a trillion dollars — $497 billion dollars in private investment in American manufacturing, both here and around the world. It's historic. And it's Bidenomics in action. Instead of expor exporting jobs, the cheaper labor for cost, what we did for decades, we're creating jobs here and exporting American product. Product, not jobs. That's the story here in South Carolina. Earlier, we heard the leadership of Enphase uh, say that $60 million they're investing here. Well, that's 1,800 jobs across the country and up 600 permanent jobs right here in South Carolina, all a direct result of the so-called Inflation Reduction Act I wrote, we wrote and passed. But that's, that's the last day of the past where so much money is coming in to make all this happen. And by the way, parenthetically, I want you to know you're going to hear about the deficit. I cut the deficit $1.7 trillion in two years. Nobody's ever done that. Cut the debt $1.7. This generates income. It generates growth. Enphase first commercialized the component that converts solar energy into electricity. All that solar energy doesn't do a whole lot of good if you can't do it and can convert it into electricity. It's called — they invented a thing called a solar microinverter. Jobs that used to go to Mexico, India, Romania, and China are now coming home to South Carolina. Now Enphase is partnering with Flex to make these parts here in South Carolina. And today, they're shipping their first microinverters made in America. Made in America. <laughs>